plumbing is held overnight. No leaks, just took a quick check. So I think we're done with the plumbing. Order of operations today in our, our two day scrum, our two day push here, is I wanna get the floor in here. Uh, that's one sheet of three quarter inch OSB. Um, and then I'm gonna do the electrical today. And hopefully we can do a little bit of insulation. Um, that so the electrical includes putting in the stink fan up here we got some lights to put in up here and um i guess i should kind of throw in the hvac portion of it so we have air conditioning um it, it's in the attic so it's vented through the top and uh i did cut a hole through the through to the access way so i can get over there and we're going to put two vents in here so um before i can close in the insulation on there we got to do anyway see we get done remember to put some boards across so that I can get the lights in the middle of the vanity or not in not even in the middle over the sink which is what we want all right I've laid out where the shower door is gonna be which is where I want to stick the vent fan the poo fan whatever you want to call it it's right over the opening of the shower door get that moisture vented outside and uh, powerful enough that it will also remove the stench when you're doing your business. Um, this is a Panasonic. I've used these before. Really, really awesome. And uh, yeah, just going to throw it right in here. Got a nice little grate. Should only take a second. This way. And then there's lots right in the middle too. There we go. I'm thinking. Doesn't matter which way this goes. I'm gonna go this way. For the lights in the bathroom, I'm using these slim LED panels right here, and they have a junction box that you mount right to the stud or right on top of the sheetrock. And these guys just clip right in on top of the sheetrock. I used these down in the great room remodel. Absolutely awesome. These are a four inch, is that four inches? So it's actually a three inch light right there. I don't know why they call it four inch, but anyway, maybe the back is four inch, something like that. But anyway, this is exactly what I was after three inch lights, tiny little things. So we're gonna go ahead and screw these right to the joist in such a way where these will clip right over and be able to plug right in. Should be fairly quick. I'm gonna go ahead and mount these up. I'm gonna mount them uh, so the door comes down so that the cord is on the bottom so we can get the most play if we need it. And also there's a color selection on here I'm going to go to 3000 Kelvin, which it seems like, as a family, we like that color temperature the most. I'm going to go ahead and mount these maybe about half an inch up off of the uh, where the sheetrock is going to mount. Two quick screws. Good to go. Boxes do come with wire nuts in them and all that good stuff.
work. Coming together, can you see it right here? Beautiful Euro glass panels, double headed shower, beautiful tile job, it's happening. You see right here, I put some extra blocking in so that the tile racks never fall down, never fall out of the wall in this bathroom. And then of course, you can see right here, just envision a beautiful roll of toilet paper with the, with the top flowing over just like it should be on every toilet paper roll. With the toilet right back there, well, we'll have the pocket door to do. Want to get the sheetrock up here before we bring that in then, though, so that it's not too tight around the corner. Ethan is cleaning up on the edges, uh, right on the sill plate, the bottom two by four, whatever that is right there, because we're going to do a little spray foam, make sure we fill in all the cracks, make sure we fill in the cracks around the window here. We've re-insulated and terminated the radiant heat pipes that run along the back there, so we are, we are about to do insulation. The other day, Saturday, I think was the last day we did some work in here. Uh, we got the poo fan ran. As you see, we got the HVAC ducts plumbed into the heat vent upstairs, the heat vent, the AC vent upstairs, running through here. The electrical is all ran, just not terminated. Uh, we did run the second, you can see we got the fan going there and now we got the light going on the fan, separate circuits, which is awesome. And you can see over my head, we have a light in the ceiling right there. And we got two LEDs right there, which will be kind of the nursery nook right there. But we are ready to get itchy and get some insulation done. Maybe, maybe we'll get some pieces of sheetrock brought up tonight. But we'll see how it goes. What? Is that your usual phone color? Um. I guess usually it's kind of yellow.
You can kind of clearly see many things have changed and uh, now we can't see with the light outside of the bathroom so I've wired up the stink fan which is right here and the lights so no receptacles but nothing popped which is also good and uh, looks like we got everything working here so I got one light wired in I've marked out where I need to cut the holes in the ceiling which it was referenced off of the door and the and the window. We wanted the lights right down the middle of that. So what I got right here is a big old hole cutter. This is super cheap from Harbor Freight, long time ago. And uh, and this box, this box is direct from Amazon. This uh, this is the packaging. It is free, and uh, or you can go buy something for like thirty five bucks at Home Depot. And this kind of sort of catches all the dust. If I didn't cut it so short, it would be even better. But anyway. All we got to do here whoop, is not fall down, go on my mark, and we don't want to drill super deep because we will cut into the insulation. So just, just what we need, that's all. Safety glasses would be a great idea. and reach up here and feel for our, so I feel the box and there's our light cable right there. Perfect. Looking pretty good on the drywall. Now I am not a drywall guy. I don't claim to be any good at it, but I do gotta say I think this one turned out pretty well. I typically have historically hired this kind of thing out, but it was a lot of drywall work to do. Uh, not a ton here. Um, it still takes me about a week to get to this point, but here are the things that I can recommend. Again, I'm not a professional at this, but make sure you have all of your knives. I used a corner knife. I don't know if that's a rookie move or not, uh, but I only use this on the second go around. Basically the first go around, I use this this must be a five or six inch knife right here. On the second go around, so this was the first heavy coat. That was like a whole bucket of mud right there. On the second go around, I use this to get the mud out of the bucket. And then I pretty much use this, must be an eight inch knife right here. 
And then on the third skim coat, I again use this to get the mud out of the bucket and then use the 12 inch knife, which is what I'm going to be using right now to do the skim coat out here. I already did the skim coat on the inside of the bathroom right there. Paper tape, only way to go. In the past, I have wet the tape down before I put it on. I didn't do it this time. I think things are looking pretty good, so I don't really have a recommendation one way or the other. The only other thing I did is after the first heavy coat, which I put on with this knife, I took a wet sponge and went over everything to kind of knock down any big bumps or lines that I may have had. Um, so I haven't hit anything here with the sander yet. On that second coat, I used a corner knife. Not sure if that's a rookie move or not, um, but I slathered mud in the corner ran one swipe down or one one swipe over and then went back over with the the eight inch knife which would have been on my second coat on the final and third coat that i'm doing with the 12 inch knife uh don't slap your mud all the way up into the corner because you could damage your inside corners so i will show on uh i'll show here in a minute but you can kind of see the ridge right here where uh where i did that corner that that corner swipe with the knife and i probably came over with my eight inch knife again but this time i'm going to slap mud up in in one corner of the knife and then skim down through here and i won't actually get mud all the way up into the corner there and that prevents any damage in the corner from what i found it and like i said you guys let me know i think it's looking pretty good um yeah so let's do some skim coats and three coats I think in the past I always tried to do a really really nice first coat thinking I could get away with doing less coats but um so far so far it doesn't seem worth it and um the the second and third coat probably only took about an hour for in here an hour for out here um the first heavy duty coat definitely took me some more time the only other thing I do got to say is that this is the the plus three joint compound in a bucket um, I tried getting the plus three joint compound in the boxes the, the first time. It might be a little bit cheaper. Uh, I got this at our local home center because I ran out. Um, but those buckets, I don't remember what the boxes were. Um, but I ended up putting them in a bucket, so why not just go with the bucket? But I don't know. That, that's my opinion. Um, I don't know why. It seems like the, the uh, professionals to seem to use the box, which is why I wanted to give it a try thinking that maybe it was different or, or not, but whatever. Um, definitely make sure you don't miss um, mixing it. I added a little bit more water, a little bit more soap, which is a, a trick a, uh, a roofing guy told me back in the day. He must have done I think he was like a handyman helping out a roofer at the time. A little bit of soap helps skim better and helps no bubbles remain in your mud. Don't skip out on mixing, even though it's a pre-mixed uh, mixture. And don't forget your three knives. Good luck. Let's finish this one up. Hmm, I guess I'll start over here. I like to do all the horizontals first and uh, go where my blanket is more or less covering everything. So, this is what we want to feather out here. 12 inch knife, we should get way in here, way down here. Um, I kind of like to stack one side of the knife and work my way this way and, and then go back, work my way down. And uh, when I say stack one side of the knife, it means like pile it up over this way so you don't end up dumping it all over the floor see right there able to layer that on right there didn't drip anything because i was kind of pulling it up the whole time and then let me get this done right here when i come to do the other side i'll stack the other side of the knife like this and, and come down like this there we go didn't drop that one good news C 
clean knife, consistent pressure, making sure you don't have any big turds on here will uh, really, really mess up your your uh, nice smooth slide like this right here. This is this is hardened. I missed that. That's why I swiped over everything with the knife beforehand. If you run over something like that, it's going to give you big, big ridges and a, and a big hot mess in your nice little mud slide. So go one down the middle. If you go too fast, you'll start bumping and you don't want to do that. Otherwise, you'll get some ridges like I did right here. Also going too fast, it will give you more bubbles. So slow, slow and steady wins the race. One more down here. See a little, little bit right here that I want to smooth out. And there we go. That is done. Not so shabby. Quick whack with the sander. Very little whack. And we'll be ready to go. That's what I've been doing. I'm not sure if that's uh, the way it's supposed to be done, but looks alright, doesn't it? That is a wrap on this video folks third and final video in the rough framing in of this bathroom i do gotta say standing here in this room with you all right now it is crazy to realize eight weeks or so ago there was nothing here at all and we put this in with our blood sweat and not too many tears which is great but the best is yet to come we got so much to show you installing the pocket door patching in the carpet putting in this magnificent shower which is wonderful tiling the floor vanity with tile countertop the best is really to come so i hope you guys think that i have earned your subscription hit that subscription ring that bell so that you won't miss when we get all these great videos out to you i'm diy tyler and you guys have a good one